in one of my previous videos, I think it was the one on the 49 to 1 ballon, Radioactive asked a question. Now, my initial response to the question may have been wrong, but today we're actually going to find out. And once and for all, answer, is there a difference in performance between magnet wire, PTFE, and the PTFE coax. Hi, my name is John. I'm at a radio call sign M7CPT. Welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. Oh, as I said in the intro, we're going to compare magnet wire with PTFE and PTFE coax. These two were the original one-to-one -one type and this one with the coax is listed as version 2 in the, the balance. So I'm going to dig out the nano VNA. This one is the PTFE I've got it hooked into the nano VNA and this is a 50 ohm resistor that's uh, I just had hanging around from old computer stuff but if we look at the actual uh, results of the SWR scan let's go from 1 megahertz all the way up to 50 megahertz just refresh that sweep. All right, as you can see, the scan's fairly low down. And uh, let's see, the highest SWR, 1.295, call it 1.3, close enough. So, that's a pretty good one, quite a nice curve. As I'm using a different resistor to last time, what I've decided to do is scan all three. So let me just change to the next one. This one, it's the same toroid, but it's using magnet wire. I'll sweep this one, see if there's any difference. Oh yes, it drops down to a lower SWR at the bottom end. But the SWR shoots off at the top end. So anything above 30, wouldn't be of use to us. Uh, the 10 meter should still be usable without a tuner. It's still quite a low SWR. 39 megahertz. We have a 1.2 SWR, 1.26. So it's still usable at that frequency. But this low band is much better. Let's switch to the uh, third one. And this one's the coax. Uh, it's PTFE coated coax. Just refresh that sweep. And we're looking at. Uh, ooh. Pretty much a one to one across the full range. Now that is definitely interesting. Unfortunately, I can't actually test the throughput of the, the coax one to see 
what frequencies it will work on because these are the wrong connectors for connecting to that box and I only have one of the correct connectors that will connect to it so first of all I have to find out how to do it and second of all I have to order another connector when I do actually find out I'll put a video on how to measure that and measure all three again with that but for now let's look at the results the frequencies that will pass through these two cover the 160 meter band right through to the 10 meter band all inclusive this one however is a type 43 even though it's got the best performance this will only work above the 5 megahertz range so 5 megahertz to 30 megahertz Incidentally, ham goodies have got a deal on this one at the moment. They're offering it for £35 instead of the, the usual £40. So be sure to check that out. And don't forget, there's a link in the description for a 10% discount. So, let's have a look at the results. The magnet wire had a highest SWR of 1.263 to 1 the PTFE was 1.29 to 1 so the, there's a negligible difference between the two but within the range the magnet wire just performs a tiny tad better the best performer was the coax version or version 2 if you look through my videos of the common mode choke now this one I will be using on my home base system whereas these two I'll be using for doing experiments with as well as everyone's favorite the ultimate one I've just got to find out what the other two uh, conversion rates could be used for well that's why we experiment Oh, I forgot to mention, these two are Type 31 toroids. This is a Type 43. I hope that uh, answers the question that Radioactive asked. There is a difference, but it is only, only appears to be slight. And it could be down due to the gaps between the wires. So negligible difference the big difference does actually appear to be when you use coax it seems to be a lot better and it's also a lot easier to make so hope you've enjoyed the video found it informative even enjoyable with that being said catch you on the air